Venezuela's opposition needed 200,000 signatures, but it submitted nearly 10 times that amount. And in hopes of avoiding clashes, it even managed to do so a day ahead of schedule. We delivered 80 boxes that contained 2,500 forms, with a total of 1.85 million signatures by Venezuelans, demanding a recall referendum. Anger has been growing in Venezuela. The oil-rich country has seen its revenues plunge as oil prices have fallen over the past 18 months. Last year, the economy shrank nearly 6%, Inflation is in the triple digits, and there are shortages of food and medicine. Not to mention an energy crisis that has seen rolling blackouts and state employees scaled back to two-day work weeks. Critics accuse the government of mismanaging the economic crisis, all while trying to stomp out its opponents. While the ruling party says the opposition's recall attempt is dishonest. The opposition is trying to deceive the people of Venezuela and the international community by saying that they have triggered a referendum. That's absolutely false. If the electoral body validates the signatures, 20 percent of voters, or almost 4 million people, would then have to sign a second petition in order to trigger the referendum. President Nicolas Maduro, though, has sworn he will not be forced out before his term expires in 2019 and accuses the opposition of seeking a coup.